Hey everyone, I'm quickly going to show how the Netlify extension for VS Code can be helpful in your workflow. So to illustrate that, I'm just going to create a basic uh, static site for Netlify. Uh, I'm going to use just Gatsby, uh, but you can use anything you want. So to just start with Gatsby, I'm just going to um, install the CLI tool. So npm install g Gatsby CLI. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to create an example Gatsby site in this example folder over here. So let's do Gatsby new. Um, let's just call it test. Okay, let's uh, quickly just build it, see if everything works correctly. So let's go into uh, the project we just created. Then we're going to do npm run build. Okay, and let's just quickly serve that up. So that should be in the public output. Um, let's just do a quick serve. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. We can navigate between the pages and so forth. Cool, so let's quickly deploy this to Netlify. Okay, so let us go to netlify.com. And let's log in. Okay, as you'll see, I have some other projects here. Um, to add this project, we quickly need to deploy it to GitHub or any other version control platform. So let's create a new repository for it. Um, let's just call it uh, Netlify Test. And let's just keep it private for now. Okay, and um, we're gonna just push the existing one. So let's copy this code. Okay, so here's the folder for the Gatsby project we just created. Uh, let us quickly deploy to GitHub. So this is from the code that we just cop copied from GitHub. Okay, there we go, all done. Okay, so here's our test Gatsby project. Okay, then if we go back to Netlify, uh, we can just hook it up here. Okay, let's just filter here by Netlify test. Uh, there it shows. Okay, all of this looks correct. Gatsby bold, public. Okay, let's deploy the site. Okay, it's busy deploying. So one of the problems with Netlify um, and using Netlify and I say this as a, as a big supporter of Netlify, is that you need to continually switch between the browser and your code editor. And especially if the deploys take quite a while, you need to continually check up, see if the site has been deployed already. Um, so this extension aims to integrate that directly into VS Code so that you can see the deployment status in your code editor. Okay, as you can see, it's done. Let's just give it a bit more uh, user-friendly URL. So let us just change this. Okay, edit site name. Let's call it Netlify VS Code Test. There we go. So then we can go to that URL and here is our Gatsby site. Okay, so let's say we wanna make changes to the site. Um, so I'm going to install the extension quickly and just show you what the workflow would be like with the extension in VS Code if you make changes to the site. Let's open up VS Code in this folder. Okay, as you can see, so here's our Gatsby project. Here's all the outputs from the build. So let's go to extensions, search for Netlify. Okay, there we go. Um, let's say install. We don't see anything down here yet. It's because we first need to configure the extension. So let's go to settings and search for Netlify. There we go. So first and foremost, our API token. Uh, let's generate one. Okay, so as you can see, here is our test example. So let's go to settings and so let's go to applications here and let's generate a new token. 
So what is this token for? Let's just say it's for VS Code. Generate the token. Okay, there we go. So I'm obviously going to remove this token. So good luck if you want to use this. It's not going to work. <laughs> But I'm going to keep it here now for just to illustrate uh, the extension. So if we go back into VS Code, we can just put it there. And let's say we want then to add our site that we just uploaded. Okay, so you can go to settings. So you can either use this. So you can either use this or you can use the site name. If you use the site name, you need to uh, add .netlify.com at the end. So let's do that now. Okay. And then just netlify.com. Okay, so this should be saved now. Okay, so let's restart VS Code. And as you can see, down here, we now have our status for this. So we can click on this to automatically see the latest build. So this is the latest build, uh, the one we just viewed a second ago. And we can also see the status. So the status is it's currently listening. So nothing has happened. It's it's idle. So let's make some changes and push these changes and see what happens. So if we go into pages, let's go into the home page. And instead of welcome to our new Gatsby site, we want to say welcome to our demo of the Netlify VS Code extension. Okay. So let's quickly commit that. We don't want our code like JSON to be committed. Okay. Yep. So these are the changes we want. And let's just call it adds new text to home page. Okay. Let's do that. And let's push these changes to GitHub. Okay. See, it's currently pushing. It's finished. And then as you can see, it triggered this down here. So it says master is deploying to production. So while this is running, we can continue with our code. Let's say, you know, we want to make this 400. So previously, you would need to flip between, I would usually flip between the Netlify site and my code editor to just check if it's deployed yet. For example here, I would just come back like every now and then and, and, and check um, the state here. So we can continue. So while that's happening, let's create a new branch for our next example. So and as you can see, while we're doing that, it shows us that it's actually done now. So we can just click here. And here you can see the text changes are live. So let's check out the branch deploy. So if you're not familiar with Netlify, so Netlify creates previews for you on all the pull requests that you make. So let's do an example now. Let's create a new branch and let's just call it um, branch demo. And let's change this welcome to our demo of the Netlify VS Code extension with deploy previews. So this is one of the really cool features of Netlify. Um, and this extension plugs into that. So as you can see, we're currently in branch demo. So you'll see these also changed. Um, it says no deploy for the current branch um, instead of if you see, if you're in master, then it just says view latest deploy because this is considered production. But if we go into here, um, it should show us just for this current branch. So let's make these changes. Let's commit them. Um, adds branch specific text. Okay. And let's push this branch. Yes, let's create an upstream for this. Okay, it's pushing. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a look on GitHub. Okay, so it shows our branch here. Let's do a quick pull request. Okay, create pull request. Okay, obviously no reviewers. Okay, so Netlify is doing all these checks. Okay, and we are back in here. Okay, so it's listening for build. Okay, and the deploy preview has been built. So if we click here, it should go there. Cool, and as you can see, this is specific for this branch. It says with deploy previews. So now if we switch back to master, then it doesn't show the branch one. This is the one with the branch. So this is really helpful if you have several working branches um, and you want to check the build previews for each branch. Um, they, it's, it's quite a flow to get them from Netlify, so this is a lot easier. And um, as shown, this works exactly the same with, with branches. So then just the last thing. So you can go into settings. And then just change here to workspace. So let's remove this. So now it will only show this Netlify project in this workspace. And you can associate different projects with different workspaces. That's about it. Um, we would love to get feedback from you guys. If you have any suggestions or if any bugs come up, uh, feel free to add them as issues on GitHub.